Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Um, I thought I'd just do something slightly different today. It was a little problem I had and how I, how I uh, solved it. I needed to upgrade my company issued iPhone. The, the, the one I had wouldn't take any more iOS upgrades, so we got a new phone. Now I was lucky in that I do that, that, that the phone still works and I could actually log in using that phone but I thought mm, I need to set it up for the new one so I thought well just in case I ever did lose the phone or it got destroyed for whatever reason I will create a, a second MFA device so this video will show how we can create that as a phone number it's actually on an Android phone not not, not an iPhone uh, how you actually enroll into Azure AD or Enter ID as it's called now I've chosen to do it just using the code sent by SMS to the phone. You can, with the Windows Authenticator and potentially with the Google Authenticator, I haven't checked this, but your device would have to be enrolled into Intune. So your, your personal phone would then be subject to the policies of whatever tenant it was that you connected to, essentially your, your company's policies, which I think most people wouldn't want to do. Uh, a lot of the policies have things like they, they've got the right to uh, destroy your device to overwrite it if they think there's any company data on it. And again, you probably don't want that. So this is a, this is a simple way to do it. The use case to do this is uh, is Jira. So a lot of people will will have used Jira in the past or or current. It's a very popular tool for incident management or all kinds of strange things it does now. So this is this is the the in-house version, not the cloud version. So that that might differ slightly, but the the techniques in how to do it are essentially the same. So we fire off Jira, get the browser, and we 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 choose the login option. It's here in the top right, and we get the login screen from Jira. So it's got a choice: you can actually continue with the username and password, or you need to go with it with Azure. So we're using Azure AD to do this. So we we click on that. We can then choose the account that we need to log in with. So I've got two accounts just currently open on this machine. One is my corporate account and one is the tenant where Jira lives. So we, we select the tenant. Uh, we add the password, we click sign in. You get that code uh, that fires fires up the authenticator on the on the, the mobile phone that you're associated with. You type the code 39 in uh, and it comes back to the browser sees that and says yeah do you want to stay signed in so you can choose yes or no you do that and when you're logged in you're in so that would be the traditional way that you might do it but as i say if you want to have an alternative method using the phone number we'll we'll we'll, we'll log out of jira so we'll, we'll we'll get rid of that and we need to go to uh, a site myaccount.microsoft.com now that this is where you can set up all your mfa devices change your password and is it tied with a particular tenant so you, you you log in using AD. I mean, we'll, we'll see in a demonstration in the moment how to do that. I will just say as well, these are slides. These are Google Slides. There's so much redaction I had to do in this project. I thought it's easier to do this and just talk through the slides as keep clicking things. And ClipChamp, which I use at the moment for doing videos, can be a bit tedious to, to mask things out. So anyway, so we, we, we enter this, this URL. We choose the tenant we want again we want to use so this is again the, the one at the top we click on that you get this screen then so you can see you're actually logged into the tenant you actually get it twice there you need to go to the update info security info click update info now you can go direct to this url security info and off you go but because I, I i'm a lazy typer i just type my sign-ins and off we go so there's the two devices so there's my new phone there's my my old phone doing that so that so that they both still work as authentication devices so to add the phone number we'll click the add in sign in method option the little plus up there we have to choose the method then so in the drop down we'll choose phone uh, depending on your license you might see more than one option for phone that's the alternative phone and even more authentication options i think this is this 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 tenant where where we have jury living in must be quite a low spec tenant you know, if it does what you need to do there's no point going for something more unless you have severe security restrictions but anyway we'll choose form do that or just a drop down box click that default is the us so we change it to 44 the uk because that's where i am 
mobile phone numbers in the UK have a zero of seven. It's the first ones. Trailing two digits is 64. So that, that we will use later on. So keep, keep 64 in mind. We'll then just click the next. Now, when I was, because I've been doing this several times, rehearsing, I think it thought I was probably some kind of hacker. So it started to give me challenges, capture challenges. So you might see one, you might not, but it's just a standard capture device. So you just, you just put in the, uh, whatever that says, into the, uh, into the characters and off we go. And it says, yeah, I'm going to send a code to your device, the one you've mentioned. So there we are, so there's me ending in 64. The phone then goes off, comes back and you enter that six digit code into the box, click next. And it'll say, yeah, you're fine. You've been registered. You'll see it actually shows it on the screen. The device says me 64 again. You click the done and you are then done. You, that, that phone is now enrolled as, a, as an MFA device. So we'll fire off Jira again. Click the login again. Choose your ID again. Default is to do this, this number. We, you know, we had 39 before. But I can't use my authenticator app now because I've lost that phone. I want to use the, the phone number. So we, we click that option. Choose the, to have a text that's sent to that number. 4407 ending in 64. We click that. You get the screen up saying, well, we've texted that code. You get an SMS on your, on your device. Just type it in. Do that. Click the verify option. All the standard things you always get with, with Microsoft with these, uh, using authentication. Don't want to stay in. Choose yes or no to your preference. Click the don't show again again to your preference and there we are logged into jira so pretty straightforward really uh just a short video to do that as i say i have the issue and i thought i would just document that for anybody who wants to see it so like something so like check subscribe all the, all the standard offers and uh I'll, I'll see you in the next video when we'll probably do something a bit more technical so uh that's it for tonight so we'll uh I'll see you soon, guys. Bye now.